Hi everyone, I am Anthony Rosolio and I'm going to do Proposition 21 of Euclid's Book 1. So, let's get started. Now, uh, having probably already read the Annunciation, you probably like just, if you just read it and haven't gone through the prop at all, you probably sit there thinking, oh my gosh, this is so confusing. And it's true, it's pretty confusing, the language is pretty confounded, there's like extremities and two lines are meeting somewhere and I don't know where to put it, don't worry about it, alright? That's just take it a lot simpler. And let's just, let's just talk about it not using the word maybe extremity or other things like that. So, Proposition 20, 21. Alright, so basically what this prop is saying is that we have a triangle. Alright. And when it says extremities and there's two lines meeting within the triangle, it just means these two lines right here. Alright, these two lines. All we're going to prove in this proposition is that these two lines right here, added together of this triangle, are less than these two lines added together. And that's it. All right? Also, another thing, this angle right here is going to be greater than this angle. So I'm going to write down my givens, and I'm going to write down what we need to prove, and then we're going to go step by step from there. So we're given. Triangle ABC, all right, triangle ABC right there, and that triangle ADC is in triangle ABC, right? ABC contains ADC. So we're going to do the first part of the proof, and that is that these two lines added together are shorter than these two lines added together. So. Let's start uh, over here, step one. And step one is just going to be, we're going to continue AD, the line AD, and we're going to continue it to E, point E. Alright, now uh, if we go back, Proposition 20 of the first book um, says that any two lines of a triangle will be greater than the other line. So we're going to do that... Um, with triangle ABE. We're going to say that line AE is less than the line AB plus the line BE. And that's what uh, Proposition 20 of Book 1 says. So, So now that we have this inequality, now that we have this inequality right here, what we're going to do to this inequality is add uh, EC to both. EC to both sides of the equality. Inequality. Uh-huh. And we see on this side of the inequality that we have BE and EC added together. And if we look here on the diagram, BE and EC make up the line BC. So we're just going to substitute the line BC in for those two terms right there. Alright? Now that we have this inequality, we're going to move on to look, uh, we're going to move on to apply proposition uh, 20 uh, to a different triangle now, where, where two sides of a triangle are greater than the third side of the triangle. So, um, we're now going to focus in on the triangle uh, DEC. We're going to do the exact same thing that we did um, for triangle AEB. So, all right. Uh, 
And looking at this triangle, all I read, the inequality that, I, that I've written right up here, it says that line DC is less than line DE plus line EC. And just like we did uh, over here when we added EC to both sides, we're just going to add another line to both sides of this inequality as well, namely AD. And again, on this side, if we look and see line AD and DE, if we look on the picture, line AD plus AD plus line DE comprises the whole line EA right there. So I'm just going to substitute that term in and write a full inequality for step five. Now, if we look at uh, the two inequalities that we've written in step, now if we look at the two inequalities that were written in step five and step three, we see that we have two terms in there that are similar to one another. In fact, not similar, identical. Namely, AE, EC, and over here, AE, EC. So therefore, if we wrote a big, long equality, inequality out using combining equation three, uh, this, the equation that we get from Step three and the equation we get from step five, we'll get something that looks like this. And I'll read it after I'm done writing. Uh, So I took this equality, and I've written it right here, and I've taken this equality, inequality, and I've written it right on this side. So all together, we end up finding out that DC plus AD, so DC plus AD, is much less than uh, BC plus AB, BC plus AB, which is what we're trying to prove. So that's great. First part, check, done. I forgot to write the proof with the given in the beginning. Don't worry about it. I'm not worried about it. We're there now. Let's move on with our lives. Um, and for the last part, I'll just excuse me, I have to go grab an eraser. We will now move on to the angles, uh, improving that, that uh, angle ADC is greater than angle ABC. And we'll do that all on this side of the board. I don't know what they need. All that one over there. So uh, the first step, what we'll need uh, for, what we'll need to recall, recollect, um, will be that Prop 16 in Book 1 of Euclid, which is the exterior angle is greater than the interior opposite angle. So for example, what that means is this angle right here, namely EDC, will be greater that since it's an exterior angle of ADC, uh, triangle, uh, this exterior angle will be greater than the interior and the opposite angle, namely DAC, which is that one right there. Uh, so, but in this case, what we're, what we're going to concern ourselves with will be the triangle ADC, first of all. And so, in that triangle, oh, sorry, 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 not that triangle, I'm a liar. We're going to concern ourselves with the triangle EDC and the exterior angle ADC of that triangle. So, um, so we can say something about ADC, namely, um, so this will be step one of the second part. Angle ADC is greater than the interior and opposite angle DEC of the triangle DEC. Alright, so it's this, this angle right here. Angle uh, DEC. Alright, 
And so, but then we look at the angle DEC, and we see that it's an exterior angle of the triangle AEP as well. So therefore, we can say that angle DEC is greater than its interior and opposite angle, namely in this case, ABE, right here. That angle. Again, because of uh, Proposition 116, exterior angles uh, is greater than the interior and opposite angle. And so, uh, combining these two inequalities that we get in step one and two of the second part together, we get the big long inequality And again, we have this part, of, this part of our larger inequality from step one, and this part of our larger inequality from step two right there. And from this, we conclude that angle ADC is much greater than angle ABE, which is exactly what we wanted to prove. ADC is much greater than ABC. And those are the two things we wanted to find. That one, that one, we can call it a Q, E, D, and we can go home. All right, thanks.